video will be about control of microbial growth. We're going to tackle terms and no terms and definitions are everyone's favorite. So we're going to tackle it and get it done. The first definition is the removal or destruction of all forms of microbial life in the absence of prions. So our first term is sterilization. Heat is used to kill microbes. The sterilizing agent is called sterilant. Now in commercial sterilization, canned foods are heated enough to kill microbes. For example, Clostridium botulinum. They produce endospores and those endospores produce toxins. These toxins can be harmful to humans. In order to kill these microbes, 110 to 121 degrees Celsius is needed to sterilize the canned food. Definition number two. Destroys harmful microorganisms slash non-vegetative pathogens. Term number two is Disinfection. Disinfectant is the agent. Now chemicals, UV radiation, boiling water, or steam can be used to disinfect an area to kill, to destroy harmful microorganisms or non-vegetative pathogens. So here I have pictures to help you remember what sterilization and disinfection means. So removal of destruction of all forms of microbial life. Sterilization uses heat to kill microbes. And you think of commercial sterilization, canned foods. Here with disinfection, it destroys the harmful microorganisms and non-vegetative pathogens. UV rays, We have boiling water and chemicals. On to our third definition, directed at living tissue. Now this is called anti-sepsis. Now, now the chemical that is put on the living tissue is called antiseptic. You see here, I have a roll of tissue to help you remember that antisepsis is directed at living tissue. And the chemical that is used on the living tissue is antiseptic. Our fourth definition is swab skin with alcohol before injection. So here I have cotton balls and a needle. Now this is called de-germing. Simple enough. Our fifth term is lower microbial counts to safe public health levels and minimize the chance of disease transmission. And this is sanitization. Normally when you think of sanitization, you think of restaurants. So here I have dishes to help you remember. 
Next, I have kill. It's bactericidal. Bactericidal. Here I have a picture of a dead character to help you remember that one. The next one is stop and steady. And that is bacterial stasis. And I have a picture of a stop sign. Okay, our last term and definition. We have putrid slash decay. This means that there is a bacterial contamination. And this is called sepsis. Now an area or an object that's free of pathogens is called aseptic. A meaning without. And septic, putrid or decay. Actions of microbial growth. One, the alteration of membrane permeability. So it damages the lipids. proteins and this results in leaking and cells do not want leaks So when you think of alteration, you think of maybe sewing, altering clothes. So here I have like a thread and needle and the plasma membrane. Two, we have the damage of proteins and nucleic acids. Point one, the hydrogen bonds can break. by heating or by certain chemicals in enzymes. Another point is denaturation. can damage DNA or RNA. D 
TNA. And RNA. Also, how many did this? Radiation and chemicals. can also damage the DNA and RNA.